Hello and welcome to the channel Other Tongues. In this video, we will introduce the tone marks in Thai. This is part of a series of videos to help you learn Thai. You will find the link to the playlist in the description. The tone of a syllable in Thai is determined by the tone rules or the tone marks. The tone marks have a higher priority. That means that the tone rules only apply when there is no tone mark in a syllable. We have looked at some tone rules in earlier videos. In this video, we will discuss the tone marks in general. There are four tone marks in Thai, namely Mai Eg, Mai To, Mai Tri, and Mai Jatawa. The most common tone marks are Mai Eg and Mai To. All tone marks are written at the top right corner of the initial consonant. So you can think of the consonant O Ang here as a placeholder for the initial consonant. For example, ma, meaning horse, has the tone mark mai to written at the top right corner of the initial consonant mo ma. Ma is in the high tone. If the syllable begins with two consonants that form a cluster, the tone mark is written above the second consonant. For example, in the word na, meaning face, which begins with a consonant cluster, of the high class consonant ho heeb and the low class consonant no nu, the tone mark mai to is written above the second consonant no nu. Ho heeb is silent in this case, so the word is pronounced na in the falling tone. We will discuss the consonant clusters in an upcoming video. If a vowel or one of the symbols of a vowel is written above the consonant, then the tone mark is written at the top right corner of the vowel or the symbol of the vowel above the consonant. For example, ni in the falling tone meaning this and mi in the low tone meaning noodles. In both words, the tone mark my egg is written at the top right corner of the vowel sara i. That is an overview of the tone marks in Thai. We can summarize by stating that Thai has four tone marks which determine the tone of a syllable. Mai Eg, Mai To, Mai Tri, and Mai Jatawa. The most common tone marks are Mai Eg and Mai To. If a tone mark is in a syllable, the tone rules no longer apply and the tone mark determines the tone of the syllable. The tone marks are written at the top right corner of the initial consonant in a syllable or at the top right corner of the second consonant when the syllable begins with two consonants that form a cluster. For example, ma in the high tone meaning horse and na in the falling tone meaning face. If a vowel or one of the symbols of a vowel is written above the consonant, then the tone mark is written at the top right corner of the vowel or the symbol of the vowel above the consonant. For example, ni in the falling tone meaning this and mi in the low tone meaning noodles. In upcoming videos, we will look at each tone mark individually and how it determines the tone of the syllable. I hope this video was helpful. References to resources are in the description. You can write your questions and comments in the comment section below. Until next time, it's goodbye.